Carla Diaz Corro, and I'm an associate engineer with Olsen in the traffic and technology team in their Arkansas office. My name is Mariano Micarelli. I work for the Florida Department of Transportation and I'm the District 4 Traffic Services Engineer. Oh, I remember when I first got involved in ITE. It was back when I was an undergrad student at the University of Arkansas. I heard it from a professor and older students, and uh, they invited me to come join one of the chapter meetings, and I did so, and I quickly realized that ITE was going to be my go-to place whenever there was anything traffic or technology related. And that has evolved throughout the years so that I have become part of local and also at my section. I have volunteering leadership roles, so it's been an evolving story and there's a lot more to come. So what got me involved in ITE was uh, coming over to the traffic services section in central office for FDOT. I just picked up the role of state traffic studies engineer and I was invited to tag along with my boss to the St. Augustine annual meeting which is my first ever interaction with all of IT. So it was a great introduction and I got to not have anything overhead, no presentations, no anything. Go in, meet and greet and, and enjoy. Some of the most valuable relationships that I've developed throughout ITE started with a casual conversation at an ITE event. And I have met amazing professionals. So they are the smartest out there when it comes to transportation. So I really feel that I found my niche of people. Because we have such a small community, you get to meet and greet the folks that you don't get to interact with throughout the state and getting to know them on, on a different capacity than from a day-to-day -day interaction. For someone else who's considering to join ITE, I would say don't just join, get involved. Make sure you look for different committees, there is different webinars that are being offered, and I'm almost certain you're going to find something that resonates with you. For existing members that are not feeling active enough and want to get more involved, there's always the route of talking to the IT officers and seeing where there's room for them to be a part of, to sign up, to volunteer. But outside of that, if you're too shy to get started on that route, walk around meet and greet, this is one of the best places to mingle. You expand your own horizons by meeting the folks that you're interested in talking to. My involvement with ITE started when I was an undergrad student and it has evolved through leadership roles. I feel inspired every time I'm at a meeting related to ITE, I feel inspired with the professional. And I, one of the inspirations I had was to be in leadership roles. And nowadays I serve as the co-chair for the Women in ITE Committee something that has fulfilled that part of me and that sense of belonging in a community and ITE has given me that. One of the aspects of coming to ITE that, that's helped me personally is being able to present the research that I've been a part of through Central Office and FDOT and getting to have an honest feedback on how it could be applied, where it would be applied and privately without having to put your professional reputation at stake, tell somebody the bad news or where the blind spots are, which has made my interaction with me writing manuals for the state and, and just being part of the procedural side of how we implement things. I'm gonna say better rounded by asking not just people who are gonna give me what I wanna hear, but honest answers that uh, would involve anyone from a community member to a very high level professional that you would meet at these events. I think Detroit is a great choice for next year's meeting because one, I've never been to Detroit, so I'm very excited and looking forward to go there. And second, I heard that they are the automotive innovators in the US, so I am a car enthusiast, so I'm very much looking forward to that and share with the people. ITE, the annual meeting, is that one time of the year that I get to recharge professionally.